Hi everyone, welcome to the next part of my cottage vlog. This is still day one, but we're into the evening now. So we're just back from the Italian. I don't think I did any filming. I'm gonna probably insert some pictures from the Italian that Joe took. I've got all the candles lit. The fire is on. And it is so cozy. So cozy, like cozy defined. Got my Mrs. Hinch loungewear on. An espresso decaf cappuccino, slippers, dressing gown. This is the life. I realise that I probably get more excited in cottages than I do in hotels because everything is there that you could possibly need. So you can just get so so cozy. And I, I just can't explain the feeling, but it's like an ex a cozy excitement. I've got some blankets here on this ladder. You can see that. I feel like she's thought of everything. So he's just took me a blanket. Just got some takeaway dessert from, how do you say the Italian? Balloon? Balloutas? No. Balloutas, I think. I got a takeaway tiramisu and cheesecake. And I'm just, we're just settling down to watch some TV. And this is the life I am telling you now. <sighs> woken up it's about half past nine i had a really nice nespresso she's got the white machine that has a proper milk foamer it's really good coffee i've got black forest capsule my mum and dad are on their way they're, they've just set off and they're going to be joining us tonight staying in the guest room very excited and i'm going to be cooking a hello fresh meal i've got some sirloin steaks with peppercorn sauce and then i think we're going to go to the pub afterwards maybe a drink and a dessert because the pubs around here are what the area is known for and there's not much to do in Ulverston but yeah the pubs are a massive thing and then today we'll probably just go for some brunch there's two places I really want to go to the bakehouse and the ground house I think it's called both have amazing reviews and have been recommended but you do have to queue for the ground house and it's in Windermere which is a 30 minute drive I think maybe 25 minutes so We'll wait for my dad to get here and then go for brunch and then maybe a walk afterwards. I feel like every man and his dog are talking about this new program called Your Homemade Perfect where they use VR headsets to show you what your house could look like. And I absolutely need them to come to my house now. So we just had uh, breakfast at Bakehouse Born and Bread. It's quite hidden away on an industrial estate actually, but they do amazing coffee. And I got a sausage patty burger and a fresh pretzel dipped in cheese. So the foodie in me was in heaven. Uh, Mum and Joe got these Philly cheese steaks and dad got some hashies. So thanks to Hannah for this amazing recommendation. And we're just here in Alberston now going to look at some shops. I don't think there's many shops though, I think it's mostly pubs, but we will see. Ulverston is your typical lakes town, very small, lots of little small businesses and we just chilled because there was no big clothing shops or anything, it was just pottering around and looking at little souvenirs and card shops and sweet shops. <laughs> There is one thing Ulverston are famous for, and that is for being the birthplace of Laurel from the iconic duo Laurel and Hardy. We had a walk around Ulverston indoor market and ended up in a health shop looking around and just listening to the locals gossiping. And yeah, that's, that's the most that you're going to get in Ulverston. Unless you're in a pub, that is. So go on a pub crawl if you ever come to the lakes. There's plenty of those. some shampers with my mum thought i would get some appropriate champagne <laughs> and just got some glasses from home this is my 30th glass and this is my missus glass so very appropriate and uh, we're just gonna start it before i cook tea so wish me luck i didn't get any photos of dinner but we didn't end up going to the pub we just ended up chilling because it was so nice Just come to the farmers for breakfast. Having a quick walk and then we're going home. I didn't get a picture of the outside of our cottage, but they're all pretty much like this, just terraced along the road in lovely bright colours like Balamori. We've had a lovely time in the lakes. It's really nice to get quality time with mum and dad. 
even if the HelloFresh took us an hour and a half to make because we'd had a few drinks. Just on our way home, um, we've been taken up a mountain on the sat nav. Not quite sure where we're supposed to be going, but the roads are as narrow as a bike. I always feel like Bear's as happy to be home as we are. He looks so relaxed. Um, but we did have friends come in this night and we had a little bit of a party, a bit of a rave and a few drinks. <laughs> The next day was my Nana's 80th birthday party. So we had it at a hotel. We had all of our family and friends there to surprise her. And we were just waiting here for her to turn up. We had a private room and a three course meal, which was served buffet style. And it was a really good idea. My sister-in-law made this beautiful cake. It's not just, just beautiful. <laughs> surprise! We also had this room next to it and our own bar, so it was a really good idea for an 80th birthday. Um, it's the Clifton Arms Hotel in St Anne's if anybody wants to book it. And my cousin's there on the piano playing some beautiful tunes. <laughs> We then went into the other room to watch a beautiful presentation put together by my auntie. I thought this was so nice. Everyone was so emotional. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. Basically an It's Your Life presentation about Nana. celebrate all over again. Thank you for being such a wonderful second mum and looking after both me and David. You are totally our family. We all love you lot. You are so blessed to have five wonderful grandchildren. How lucky are you? I am so sorry I cannot be with you today. My heart and my thoughts are with you. You have been the best sister ever and I love you to bits. <laughs> Have a fabulous day. So easy on me, Jean, and the baby guineas. I think I was always in awe of you. Um, you were always very stylish and very glamorous. Hot pants and cat suits. And then we came to primary school. Also, just picking up in a fox fur coat. My favourite memory of you was when we were going to Harry Potter Land, you were driving us. Me and Chelsea were in the back, and you smashed into a huge curb. <laughs> Well, I did a little video one for you at the time I left you in charge of the wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, to uh, making even more amazing memories of you. Aww. Happy 80th birthday, Auntie Pat. <laughs> I thought it was 90, it could have been 100. <laughs> you deserve it. Can't wait to have you around for a Miller and Carter style tea. Happy birthday to my bestie. We laugh all the time. <laughs> and you're the bestest mate I could have. It'll be when we go out and have special times together. The best room is when Dad pushed you into a bush with your wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to leave the vlog here this week of us admiring the beautiful bathroom at the Clifton Arms. Thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next one.